Ever since the wholesale totalitarian shift by Washington, D.C. that occurred back in 2020, military intelligence and the alphabet agencies have been keeping a very sharp eye on Florida, our military assets, our government, and our people, primarily because a two-decade-long plan to subvert the sovereignty of the state of Florida failed miserably out of all of the states that tried to push back at all against COVID tyranny, Florida succeeded. And there was absolutely no way that they were going to just let that pass, even though now in 2024, they still don't have any answers. It is a full court press. And it has to do with something that we've talked about at this channel that many people have dismissed. I've talked about the two legal terms, de jour, meaning D-E-J-U-R-E in law, and the term de facto, meaning in reality. Now, looking back at history, the colonies under England were de facto, for all real intents and purposes, governing themselves long before the 1700s. They were just trying to do it in a way that worked with the king, and when that finally fell apart, then they had to come to blows. Well, right now, Florida, de facto, in reality, is governing itself. If you look at what's going on here versus anywhere else in the country, we are moving in an entirely different direction. Now, this is a battlefield of the mind thing. You see, the plan that military intelligence had that they were running for 20 years was to shame Floridians into submission. They believed that if they put out this Florida Man campaign where they took every possible negative story out of Florida and blew it up, that eventually we would put our hands in our pockets and look down at the sidewalk and shuffle our feet and say, yeah, I guess that's all we'll ever be. We're just, we're just a bunch of sad hillbillies and we should just probably do what we're told. That's what they thought would be the answer. But it's not. And earlier today, only about, oh, I'd say two hours ago, we finally put up a brand new video talking about a group in Florida that has been pushing back so hard on this that military intelligence has almost given up. They don't truly believe now that they will ever be able to infiltrate this group. They have not been able to crack the code, so to speak, on how to influence these people. And it has a lot to do with where these people come from, their belief systems, and something that is almost contrary to what you would think. One would think that fighting back harder would be the key and responding to the whole Florida man thing. But it's actually the opposite that flummoxes military intelligence. I'm sure a lot of you have seen every possible story about some individual down here within our borders doing something that uh, just wouldn't seem natural or normal. Well, the vast majority of those stories are people who, while technically are in Florida, aren't from Florida. But they don't ever tell that part of the story. That's how you know. And as a result of that 20 years, 25 years of shaming, this has been the result. This is the House of Representatives in Florida. We have an 85 to 35 majority, meaning if you put this on a national level, a national equivalent, it would be like the House of Representatives in Washington, D.C., having a 309 to 126 majority, meaning that you could give two votes to every Democrat and you still wouldn't win. That's how big it is, and it's even worse even worse, in the Florida Senate. We have a 28 to 12 majority. Once again, you could give two votes to every Democrat, and this includes all the big, the blue areas, all the, the Miami-Dade, the Gainesville, the Orlando, the Tampa. They only have 12. They only have 12 representatives. That's been the result, and it's a result of one word. No. Just saying no. And going on about your day and letting the person trying to start the trouble 
have to figure out how to get you to react. Biden and his cronies took power and they tried to force this on us and force that on us and force all these other things. And we just said no. And we led the nation. Governor DeSantis came out, press conference after press conference after press conference. Whatever Biden was doing, he was going to do the opposite. And challenged the federal government to take him into court to try to stop it. And they lost every time they tried. You see, we didn't have to brag about the fact that we have by far the nation, and this is including Texas, we have by far the nation's largest armed militia that doesn't advertise. I know a lot of Texans are like, wait a minute, we have a lot more people. You do. But believe it or not, there are more guns and more militia members in Florida than there are in Texas. But we don't have to brag about that. Because there's a great analogy. There's a fantastic, very Florida analogy about this. There are 22 million people in Florida. Now, not including hatchlings, talking about just adults, there are 1.25 million alligators. Now, if these fo- these animals were as dangerous to humans as most would make them out to be, and they can be dangerous, we should be seeing stories of hundreds, if not thousands, maimed and injured on a daily basis. We only outnumber them 20 to 1. There's, a, there's an alligator out there for every 20 Floridians. Actually, it's, it's actually more than that. It's like 19, 18 and 19. You would think if these, and it's not out of their ability to do, they can hide in two feet of water. And they are insanely, and there's just not enough words to describe how strong these animals are. There's, there's no human being that has ever lived that would have stood a chance for more than five minutes against an alligator's of size. And there are millions of them. Why? It's simple. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. And they will leave you alone. And every Floridian knows this. And it's pretty much our motto of life. Leave us alone. And we'll leave you alone. But come into our backyard. Make trouble. Start pointing fingers. And you're going to find out why. These things have been around since the time of the dinosaurs. And you can't get rid of them. If you mess around anywhere around a body of water at night in Florida, you're going to get what you deserve. And that's how Floridians will look at it. If you're brand new here and you haven't heeded the warnings, you know, sorry for your luck. But Floridians don't go out anywhere near bodies of water at night. It's literally just asking for trouble, and that's everywhere from the panhandle to the keys. And that's all you pretty much during the day, especially in the morning. During the day, they'll leave you alone. I mean, unless you literally go up and start kicking one in the head, they will leave you alone and they'll run. And that's kind of like Floridians. We don't like to be bothered in the morning either. So, just saying. Just saying, but if you would like to get right in, Florida Maquis Patreon channel. It's only one US dollar per month. Even less if you sign up for an entire year. Fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. Trust me, this is something you're going to want to see. There's a group of people in Florida that military intelligence just can't crack the code because they have special set of skills. And we describe those skills. So, love to have you. God bless all of you. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Pray for each other mostly these days. That's what we really need to start doing more of, is just praying for each other, regardless of our disagreements, and lift each other up. God bless. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.